Hello everyone, I'm Charlie. Hello everybody, my name is Wanja. We hope that you're enjoying your holidays. Now today we've got a lot of stuff lined up just for you. Just to remind you, in this edition we are bringing you some of the best segments of the Nozone show. That's right, now we're doing these reruns in the hope that you will get something and reinforce what you already learned throughout the year. So right now let's watch two episodes of the Junction Juniors, but first here are the buzzwords. That. Vomit, nurse, typhoid, medicine, tools, hammer, nails, screws, workshop. shillings among seven junction juniors how much will each contribute easy just have to do long division so can seven go to five no. can seven go to 50 mm -hmm. how many times seven times because of 49 when you subtract, you get one, you drop zero. I just wish we had all the money, then we'd throw the party. James, you always save the day. A party sounds like a super idea. Super idea, and you don't have all that money to such a party. What if we went to the animal orphanage? I love animals. I love animals, but they scare me. Don't think they love me back. <laughs> talking about uh, we were looking for a plan for tomorrow we don't sit in the hideout oh. yeah what about a picnic it's a nice idea of doing something different yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Good. Good idea. yeah. 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 my mom made all these pancakes for all of us yeah. Yeah. my grandma made sweet potatoes and arrow roots for us all sweet potatoes arrow roots are you mad My grandma says they're very nutritious. Arrowroots and sweet potatoes make the body stronger. Okay, who's gonna tell him? Yes. Here's the thing. Children don't take sweet potatoes and arrowroots for picnics. Children prefer junk food and sweet stuff for picnics. Mm -hmm. I think you should go see a doctor. You've not been well since yesterday. I don't need to see a doctor. 
I don't trust them. Maybe some water will help you. You don't really need to go to the hospital. Trust me, it's not one of the nicest places to be. I think you really need to see a doctor. Not all of them are bad. Yeah, I've met some doctors that are very supportive of my mom. She's having a very hard time living with the HIV virus. It's nothing. I'll be okay. Your friend will be fine. What exactly is wrong with him? I'm sure these are signs and symptoms of malaria. Yes, my dad got malaria once and he had the same symptoms. It could be malaria, but we're not sure of anything yet. The only way we can know for sure is by running some blood tests. That's why it's important to come to the hospital anytime you feel unwell. I'm sure Babu will be fine. Why don't you go back to your picnic and uh, pass by later? Besides, I've called Babu's dad and he's on his way here so he won't be alone, okay? Yeah, let's go and eat. I'm starved. We'll pass by in a few hours. Thanks, Nasty. You're always Bye. welcome. Bye. Bye. I hope Babu feels better. Yeah. I hope it's not easy. It's just a foreign girl! What? Uh -uh. Oh my God. Like what? Take them to hospital. Oh, what? I, I am not taking these people who stole my food to hospital. They need our help. If we help them still. We are the junction juniors. We help people regardless. Fine! It's good you brought those two in. home with his dad. We gave him some medicine which will help him recover quickly. We discovered that he had a small bout of typhoid. If he didn't get checked when he did, he could have gotten very ill. How did he get typhoid? Well, he had eaten some fruits straight from the market without washing them, which is very dangerous. You should always wash your fruits and vegetables with lots of clean water. And although diseases can't be seen, they can be picked up through contact. That's why it's important for you to wash your hands every time before you eat. So if we wash our fruits, we're safe? Yes. And also learn to eat healthy foods that will help build your body and boost your immune system, like arrowroots or green leafy vegetables. Well, let me attend to those two naughty boys who decided not to wash their hands before eating. Remember, always wash your hands with soap and water before you eat. You know what, here are some sweets for being very good today. Oh, 
twice. An injection each will do just fine. <laughs> been a day and a half. Yes, it has. I wonder how Freddy and Namus are going on after the injections. <coughs> too hot. Ow! I wonder about eating too many sweets. Now you see, you have a toothache. These are for later. We should be heading home now. And thanks for being there for Babu. And of course, Amos and Freddy. Well done. Yay! Yay! Yeah. Oh, brother. I think you really look great, Amishi. So you think Amishi looks great, James? Hmm? Password! Workshop. Spell it! W-O-R-K-S-H-O-P. Yay! Hey, guys, don't believe what just happened. What? All right, so I was talking to Vincent about what he does at the workshop, and he told me that there's a lot of melting and carving involved. So? So I asked if we could go and visit one of these days, and he said if you are free in the afternoon, we could go. Cool. Shane Bakari will be missing out. I know. We'll tell him about the workshop when he comes from his trip. Wow, I can't believe this. I've always wanted to know how some of the items in our toolbox at home work. Me too. Well, I've never really figured out how to use screwdriver. I don't know. And that's not all. Vincent also allowed us to see how his workers drill. Cool! Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Yeah, we're wasting time instead of going. I have so many questions for Vincent. Yeah. What? Why are you all looking at me in a funny way? What do you mean you want to come along? Yeah, don't you know workshops are no place for girls? You could break your nails. Or mess up your pretty hair, Amishi. Well, I never thought you guys were going to be so mean. How could you just because a girl it doesn't mean that you wouldn't be interested in what happens in the workshop? Yeah. 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 Well, what can we say? Girls like to cook and clean. And speaking of cleaning, have you seen this place? I think you guys should remain here while us boys go to the workshop. What? I'm not cleaning this place. If you think it's dirty, it's because you made it so. Yes. girls to clean up. Is that so then what's your duty as boys? Boys are much smarter and stronger. <laughs> we call those muscles. Hi. Well, what do you have? If you think boys are stronger and smarter than girls, then you have to prove it. Yes. I challenge you to an arm wrestling. Prepare to be bubble fight. It wasn't Lelati who broke it. Yeah. You girls should not worry. Us boys will fix the stool while you girls clean the hideout. No, us girls will fix the stool. Hey, I think you're joking. I don't even think you know the tools to use. Well then, we'll prove it to you that we can fix the stool just as easy as any boy. Yes, and when you do that, you boys, you clean up this place. What will it prove by letting us clean the hideout while you fix the stool? That girls and boys are equal. Mm. <laughs> Deal. I feel sorry for them. We'll be finished even before they can hammer one nail. Ah! I don't believe those boys. I know! Who do they think we are? Listen, we have to prove to them that we are just as good. Whatever happens, we have to fix this stool. But how do we do it without any tools? I... I almost feel sorry for them. 
They don't even have a hammer. <laughs> or any nails. Hey, let's get busy. We have to clean this place to show them it can be sparkling clean. Okay, so what do we need? Let's see. We have a broom. So all we need is a bucket full of water, a rag and some soap. What? Why are you all looking at me like you've never seen someone clean a house? So where do we get the bucket from? We even don't have any soap. <laughs> Forget the soap. All we need is water and I don't know where we are going to get it from. I don't even want to imagine the looks on their faces when they see we've done nothing. I know. Hey, they'll never let us forget it. Hey, you stop feeling sorry for yourselves. Look, I got a stone which you can use as a hammer. Wow, that's a great idea. Now we'll show the boys what you're made of. <laughs> Look, they found the hammer. I don't believe it. We'll just have to show them we can clean the hideout till it's clean. Will these four bottles carry enough water to clean the hideout? Yes, each bottle is 500 milliliters. So 1,000 milliliters is the same as one liter. 500 milliliters times four equals to 2,000 milliliters, which is the same as two liters. Two liters is more than enough to clean the hideout. Quick, yeah. let's go to the river. Where do you think they're going? I don't know. Probably to ask someone for help. <laughs> so that Amishi can hammer. Hi! Oh dear, I wonder when he even will finish this. Guns, who's boss? Welcome to inspect our work. Wow, I can't believe this. Wait a minute. Look at this place. This place isn't clean at all. You try to trick us into believing and clean this place. Look at it. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You are going to take out the rubbish once you left. That doesn't count. If you look at our stool, you'll see that you won the challenge. I have to inspect that stool before I apologize. How did you make it without any tools? We improvised. And I test it to see if it's strong enough. Of course, unlike you, we didn't cheat.
just did that? Who's the bigger liar now? How could this happen? I know, we just tried it strength a few minutes ago. Listen, the reason why the stool fell apart is because you did not use the right tools to fix it. Well, we didn't have any tools to begin with. We only used the stone to hammer the nails. You see, you didn't win. In fact, nobody won. Yeah, James, you're right. Which proves that boys and girls are equal. Hey, it's almost time to go see Vincent. Let's all go. Yeah! Wait a minute! Before we go, we have to tidy up the hideout. It's our responsibility. We made it dirty, so let's clean it up. Amish is right. All right, gang, you had the girl. Junction Juniors forever! Hooray! Well, I'm glad the Junction Juniors agreed to act together as a team and to appreciate each other's differences. Oh, yes. And did you see the way the Junction Juniors helped Babu and also helped the bullies, even though the bullies had stolen their snacks? Uh, we learned that revenge is never a good option and that we should forgive. Right now, though, let's go for a break. We'll be right back. Shake your everyone and welcome back to Hot Numbers. Today we are going to learn how we measure liquids. <coughs> First though, who can tell me what a liquid is? Yes, Kiburio? A liquid is a substance like water that flows freely. Uh -huh, very good. That's a very good explanation. A liquid flows freely and it's important to know that its volume is constant. Oh, excuse me, Teacher Pendo. What do you mean by that? What I mean is that no matter what container you put your liquid in, the amount will always be the same. Who can tell us how we measure a liquid? Yes, one boy? By putting it in a measuring container. That's correct. We say that the capacity of a container is how much it can hold. The capacity of containers which hold liquids is given in liters. Let's look at the bottles in front of you. What does your bottle say, Marara? Um, it says 300 milliliters. But what does ML mean? ML means milliliters. You should also know that 1,000 milliliters is the same as one liter. Anyone else? Yes, Itotia? One of our bottles needs 500 milliliters. Mm -hmm. And what do you think that means? Yes, Lucy? Could it mean that 500 milliliters is the same as half a liter? Precisely. 500 milliliters is the same as half a liter. What else is written on your bottles? Yes, one boy? Our bottle has one liter written on it. Very good. Anyone else? Yes, Kiburio? And ours has 250 milliliters written on it. Good. Now, how else would we say 250 milliliters? Yes, Itotia? A quarter of a liter. That's very good. 250 milliliters is the same as a quarter of a liter. Now, this group used this bottle, the 250 milliliter bottle, and this group used the one liter bottle. And let's see how many times you will need to fill your bottles to fill these jugs with two liters of water. Go ahead. If you'd like to try this at home, be sure to ask an adult because water is precious. Great! 
Now, this group that was using the quarter liter bottle, how many times did you have to fill your bottle to fill the jug with two liters of water? Oh, Tishapendo, we had a more difficult time. Oh, Marara, stop complaining. At least you got it done. So how many times do you need to fill your bottle? Yes, Lucy? We filled our bottle eight times. Very good. And how about this group with the one liter bottle? Yes, Nyamura? We filled our bottle twice to get two liters. Well done, everyone. The capacity of this bottle is one liter. The capacity of this bottle is a quarter of a liter. How much water did we fill into each jug? Two liters. Very good. Now, what if I had used this half a liter bottle? How many times would I have needed to fill it to fill the two liter jug? Four. And how many quarter liter bottles would I need to fill this half liter bottle? Two. Oh, well done, all of you. We should all learn more about measurements like kilograms and liters. And that's because we use them every day. For example, today I bought a liter of soda. A liter of soda? Yes. You're going to share it with your friends, right? Of course I will. <laughs> anyway, right now, let's go out there. We'll learn about glass blowing and malaria. Today we are visiting a very special hospital and we will find out what usually happens here. Doctors are very important people in our society. They make people feel better when they are sick. Did you know that there are some doctors who have specialized in treating children only? Come on people, let's find out what happens here. Let's meet Dr. Wahu. Dr. Wahu works here and she tells me that she loves attending to children just the same way she loves her work. In a day, Dr. Wahu and her colleagues attended to over a hundred children. While some are brought here for regular checkups, others are here to be treated for different ailments like typhoid, cough, asthma, or even stomach ache. Gabriel is one of them. The doctor says that Gabriel has been having fever, headaches, and even vomiting. And these are most common symptoms of malaria. The nurse has to check his temperature and weight. The normal temperature, I'm told, is supposed to be 37.2 degrees Celsius. It is also very important for the doctor to do further checks on the body. This includes the eyes, the mouth, and even the ears for any foreign objects. Finally, with the doctor's report, it's time for me and Gabriel to visit the laboratory. So Gabriel is going to be tested for malaria. It's going to be all right, Gabriel, relax. Oh, he's afraid of injections just like me. The laboratory is a room where testing is carried out. The blood sample is smeared on a piece of glass and labeled properly to avoid confusion. The technician uses a microscope. A microscope is an instrument used in viewing very small objects. For example, the malaria parasites. It makes the parasites appear bigger and one can easily see them. The laboratory person has to keenly observe Gabriel's blood sample to check for any malaria parasites. After some minutes of observation, the results are out. It is confirmed Gabriel has malaria, and now it's time to get some medication. But the doctor tells me that there are some drugs that have been phased out due to their high resistance. So when you are getting medication for malaria, make sure you get drugs that reduce the resistance. Thank you. God bless, thank you. However, because malaria is caused by mosquito bites, you could prevent it by simply sleeping under a treated mosquito net. 
make sure that Gabriel takes his medications well. And that should be after meals. Bye for now. Hello, everyone. Can you guess where we are going today? We are going to a magical, mysterious place that is very near Nairobi. It is a workshop that makes many beautiful things from old glass. It is in Kitengela. There it is, I can see it. Come on, we are nearly there. Finally, we are here. Isn't this exciting? sell all the objects that they have made from glass. Look, they sell drinking glasses, flower vases, glass beads, and even jewelry. Isn't it beautiful? First of all, they collect lots of old glass and break it into small pieces with a hammer. Then they bring it into the workshop and melt the glass in a very, very hot furnace. In fact, it is 1,100 degrees centigrade. Wow, it is very hot. The craftsman takes some of the melted glass, rests it on his bench, and blows air into it to make a shape. This is very tricky business. The glass needs to be reheated so that it remains soft for shaping. Can you believe it? This furnace has been burning continuously for the last 14 years. Wow, this looks like hot work. the different tools the workers have to use. Can you guess what he's making? Wow, he's like a magician. my very own glass bowl. I'm so lucky. I'm going to keep my delicious sweets in it. Mmm. Ah. You know, I'm glad that Maspidi found out that he didn't have malaria, but we should always remember we need to sleep under a treated mosquito net. Oh yeah, as they say, prevention is better than cure. Oh yeah, but on a lighter note, wasn't that glass factory so cool? It was beautiful, but it must have been really hot. <laughs> oh, yes, it was. Now, for you at home, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Do you remember your lesson on countable nouns? Mm -hmm. If you don't, it's coming up next on Cool Words. to see that everyone is eager and ready to learn. Today we are going to learn about countable and uncountable nouns. Well, today's lesson sounds very easy. Countable nouns are things that we can count. For example, we can count pens. I have one, two, 
three pens. Mm -hmm, very good. Countable nouns are things that we can count. Can you give me other examples of countable nouns? Yes, Ima? Dog. Mm -hmm. Yes, Misango? Coin. Uh huh. Someone else? Oh, I, I know one. I know one. Yes, Marara? Table. Someone else? Yes, Yvonne? Box. Excellent. All the noun examples you have given are in singular form. However, countable nouns can be in singular or plural form. For example, I can say, my pen is red, which is in singular, and it becomes, my pens are red in plural. Now, what about this sentence? My dog is hungry. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Yes, Marara? In plural, it will be, my dogs are hungry. Well done, Marara. There are also other words which we must use when our countable noun is in singular form. These words are, are, an, the, my, this. For example, we say, I want a tablet, and not, I want tablets. Oh, I see. I should say, where is my bottle, and not, where is bottle. <laughs> You're right, Marara. Now, these words make a sentence sound correct. Now, who can give me other examples using ah, uh, an, the, my, or this? Yes, Cheng? I love this hat. Anyone else? Yes, Ngagu? Who stole my biscuits? Someone else? Oh, I know, I know, Tishapendo. Yes, Marara? The hen laid an egg. Excellent. Someone else? Yes, Emmanuel? Have you got a sweet? Now, this rule changes when the countable noun is in plural. We can either use the noun by itself or we can use other words with the countable nouns. For example, I love this hat becomes I love hats or I love these hats. Other words we could use are some, any, a few, many. Now, let's use these words in the sentences that we just said. Yes, Ngagu? Who had some biscuits? Mm -hmm, very good. Someone else? Yes, Achen? The hens laid many eggs. Yes, someone else? Yes, Emmanuel? Have you got any sweets? Now, let's look at uncountable nouns. Oh, oh, oh. I know what they are. They are things we cannot count. <laughs> You're right, Marara. But it's not just things, but concepts and ideas as well. Now, who can think of some nouns that we cannot count? Yes, Ima? Milk. Mm -hmm. ooh, Someone ooh, else? Ooh, ooh. Chafendo. Yes, Marara? News. Uh -huh. Someone else? Yes, Misango? Sugar. Mm -hmm. Yes, Yvonne? Water. Now, it's important to note that we usually treat uncountable nouns as singular. For example, we say, this news is important or a piece of news. Oh, uh, Teacher Pendo, we cannot count milk either, but we can count bottles of milk. Can you think of other examples of uncountable nouns which become countable when we think of them as a specific quantity? Yes, Emmanuel? Two bags of sugar. Mm -hmm, very good. Someone else? Yes, Ngagu? Five grains of rice. Excellent. We can also use some, any, a little, and much with uncountable nouns. Oh, 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 I know one. I have got some paper. Anyone else? Yes, Ngagu? Have you got any sugar? Mm -hmm, very good. Someone else? Yes, Chen. I don't have much money. Good. Another very important point to remember is that sometimes the same noun can be countable and uncountable, often with a change of meaning. Now, let's look at these sentences and read them out together. I'd like everyone on this side to read the first sentence which has countable nouns and everyone on this side to read the second sentence which has uncountable nouns. So let's start. I, I thought, thought I had a noise. Mm -hmm. There is too much noise to work. Very good. How about the next sentence? Have you got a paper to read? Mm -hmm. I need some paper to read on. Oh, I see now, Teacher Pendo. Now, in these sentences, the nouns in blue change from countable to uncountable, depending on the meaning it's been given. Shake your
Welcome back. That was a good lesson. Now, before we watch the art zone, let's join our spelling champion in spell it. Animal, animal, chapter, building, building narrow, building, respect, building, respect, respect, deep, vegetable, work work, 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 work. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Spell It. Boboi, Nyagoha, and Kiburio. You're about to step out of the shadows and into the light to compete for the top prize of the No Zone Spelling Champion. If you win, you will go home with one of these lovely dictionaries. Now, each contender has just 30 seconds to spell correctly as many words as possible. If you would like to hear the word again, just say repeat, and the word will be repeated for you. Now, each word is worth one point. Are the rules clear? Yes. Well, boy, you're up first. Please take your place on the spelling zone. Oh boy, your 30 seconds start now. So, repeat. So, S O U L. File. F I L E. Screws. S C R E W S. Plastic. P L A S T I C. Spana. S P. Repeat. Spana. S P A N W N E R product P R O D U C T building time is up time is up well done my boy we step back Nyagoha you up next please take your place on the spelling zone Nyagoha your 30 seconds Start now. Nails. N A I L S. Drill. D R I W -L, L. Bench. B E N C H. Metal. M E T A L. Hammer. H, H A A N W M E R. Reject. R E G E J E C T. Molding. Repeat. Molding. M O U L D I N G. Workshop. W O R K. Time, Time is up. Well, well done. done Yago. Well Just done. Step back. Kiburio, you're next. Please take your place on the spelling zone. Kiburio, your 30 seconds start now. Nut. N U T. Tools. T W O L S. Bolt. B O L T. Wood, W W W O D. Workers, W O R K E R S. Pliers, P L I E R S. Carving, repeat. Carving, C A L V I N G. Approve, A W P R O V E. Recycle, R E C Y C L E. Chisel. Time is up. Time is up. Well done. Mister Back. Well, that was a very close edition of Spell It, so we won't waste any time. Straight to the results. As usual, the results will be in reverse order. In third place, we have... Wamboy, let's give a round of applause. Well done. Well done, Wamboy, well done. In second place, with a total of seven points, we have Nyagoha, which means today's Spell It champion is Kiburio. Let's give him a round of applause. Well done. Step forward. Step forward, Kiburio. <laughs> Congratulations. You are today's No Zone Spelling Champion. Show everyone at home your dictionary. Let's give him another round of applause, everyone. Well done. It's OK. It's okay. Hi kids, welcome to Art Zone. I have a friend here, he's called Mr. Socks. Today we're going to do something a bit different and watch a video of a band called Just A Band and they've done a video using friends of Mr. Puppet here. I hope you enjoy it. Hey, baby, I'm like a 
Sura yako inafanya roho inapona Hey Kweli weni malaika Hawe kile na waita Kadhalika Hey Hey Binataka kukuona Sura yako inafanya roho inapona Hey Kweli weni malaika Hawe kile na waita Kadhalika Kakuna mtu hitu hiya na bahati ni meme Najua kila mtu taniuleza kwa nene Manzi ya nguomba hata mese ya meme Kushikwa ni mshikwa ni kaya kwa mfuko Hakuna pikipoke tata nitoa huko Ni mimi na yeye, yeye na mimi Tuko pamoja kama ndomo ulimi Amekuwa na mimi ni kikaranga chumbi Atakuwa na mimi ni kianza kunona Sija muona leo lakini story ni hii Tachukua simu yangu ni muambie hivi Tasema Hey, hey, binataka kukuona Sura yako inafanya romo inapona Hey, kweli weni malarika Hawe kine na waita Kadhalika Sikila siku hote pata mstiana moja mzuri Mstiana amesoma kini hana kipuri Mstiana sa zingine anasoma za buri Kusikiza santuri kwa kipia desturi Kama niko na ye kila kitu nishwari Naona poa sana anani jali hali Yeni upepo wangu katika chua kali Tafadhali please nitasema ukweli Akini acha leo sitafuti mwingine Mambo ya kutafuta niliacha zamani Lakini hiyo haitafanyika jamani Juhata ye na chua anafikiri hivi Sura yako inafanya romo inapona Hey, kweli weni malaika Hawe kine na waita Kadhalika Hey, hey, binataka kukuona Sura yako inafanya romo inapona Hey, kweli weni malaika Hawe kine na waita Kadhalika Well, kids, I hope you enjoyed the video because I did and Mr. Socks here also did. So, see you next time on Art Song. Bye. It was really nice seeing those two segments again. We hope that your spelling has improved. Oh yeah, and Art Zone has made me an artistic person. Like, I actually started playing the guitar. Maybe I should also start some weaving. Mm -hmm. Anyway, right now let's relax with an African tale. And then we will later join Marara's friends out in the wild zone. I'm going to read you an African tale about trust. It is called Simba and the Three Bulls. Don't forget to listen for this week's buzzwords. In a faraway land, there lived three strong, handsome, and proud bulls, Papito, Kipesi, and Gaduma, who did everything together. Such was their love for each other that if one of them got a stomachache, toothache, or any other disease, the others would share his pain. However, in the neighborhood lived a weak, old, hungry lion, Simba, who was bent on ruining their happiness by eating them. To his disappointment, the three bulls grew stronger and closer every passing day and Simba had many wounds to show for his defeat at their hands. Driven by his hunger and shame, Simba came up with a plan that was sure to divide them and make them vulnerable. Looking miserable and all smeared with dirt, he wobbled and coughed and vomited his way up to the three brothers. Two of them, on seeing him in this state, rolled over and had a hearty laugh. Papito, though, showed concern and he approached the lion. What's wrong, Simba? He asked. Oh, Papito, if I don't get medicine quickly, I will die. I don't know what is wrong, but I have a fever that is worse than malaria. Simba replied with as much weakness as he could. Master, it really sounded that he had a very bad disease. If I don't get a nurse to help me boil water, to clean my wounds, 
and wash off the dirt that is making them worse, I will surely die. As he turned to deliver the bad news to his brothers, Gaduma and Kipesi, Simba held him back briefly and whispered something into his ear. Whatever it was, greatly shocked him and made him turn towards his brothers with suspicion in his eyes. Simba limped off proclaiming, Let me go and look for someone kind-hearted enough to offer me a brush and soap to wash the dirt off my fur, and I will die with dignity. Kipesi and Gaduma approached their brother. What did he tell you? asked Kipesi. Papito merely looked at them, then marched off swearing to be that kind-hearted animal who would nurse Simba to a dignified death, whether his brothers liked it or not. Gaduma and Kipesi were very confused by this turn of events. They spent that evening trading accusations over which one of them had caused the rift so that by the next morning, they were sworn enemies. Because of everything you have said about me, I don't want ever to talk to you again, Kipesi, declared Gaduma to which his brother responded with bitterness. And you are my sworn enemy, Gaduma. Go your way, and I'll go my way. This worked very well for Simba, who, seeing them divided, approached Kipesi, the weaker one, and called out, Kipesi, Kipesi. Please hurry up, Kipesi, urged the lion. As we talk now, Monkey the witch doctor is about to admit your brother in his clinic. Papito has malaria. Kipesi was convinced that Simba was lying, as there were no mosquitoes in the area. He started walking away from Simba. I'm going to look for my brother. I know he's not sick. Jumping up to follow Kipesi, Simba added, Papito has malaria and typhoid. Monkey is very concerned. Seeing that he had no choice, Kipesi agreed to walk with Simba, but gave him a warning. I hope you are not lying. If you are, you will be in trouble. Take me to him. Meanwhile, Gaduma, unable to bear the absence of his brothers, went out to search for them. He searched the forest, calling out their names until he chanced on Simba gathering firewood in the evening drizzle. He ran over to the lion and stopped. Where are my brothers? You were last seen with them. Simba quickly pointed out that he knew where the two brothers were and that they had actually taken over his cave and were going in and out as they liked, leaving him to suffer in the cold. We shall see about that, said Gaduma. And he walked with Simba towards the cave. As they entered, Simba leaned against the wall as if hiding something. What are you doing, Simba? Gaduma asked. Nothing, Simba answered. I thought I saw you covering something, Gaduma challenged. Me? Oh, no, said the lion. Why are the hoop prints only going in the cave and none are coming out, Gaduma roared. I think your brothers have not yet come out, Simba whimpered in reply. At this, Gaduma had had enough in his rage. He pinned the lion to the cave wall and bellowed. I don't believe you. They are inside, moaned the lion. I wanted to stab them until they were weak enough for me to eat. A fearful Simba quickly opened the gate, letting Joas, Papito, and Kipesi out. As the three brothers hugged and congratulated each other, Simba quickly turned and sneaked away, promising to trust each other from now on. The three bulls proudly sauntered towards the horizon, leaving Simba depressed, hungry, greatly embarrassed and alone. The end. That is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye-bye. Nose on Rangers, we all know what this is, don't we? That's right, it's soil. Soil is important for us because we grow crops in it. But did you know that animals also use soil in a very special way? 
Mmm, that's right. Many animals like eating soil. Bush bucks eat soil. White-tailed mongooses eat soil. Rhinos eat soil. Hmm, that is really strange, isn't it, rangers? Today we are going to find out why all these animals eat soil. This elephant is eating soil. It enjoys the salty taste in this type of soil very much. It uses its trunk to pick up bits of soil and put them in its mouth. It even digs up the soil using its strong tusks, breaking off larger chunks and crushing them in its mouth. They eat soil because they want to get the minerals that are found in it. The elephants need these minerals to stay healthy. These cows are going on a little journey to find some tasty soil. Finally, they have arrived at a salt lick. The soil contains minerals like iron that make the cows healthier and fatter, so the herdsmen regularly bring their cattle here to eat the soil. Birds, on the other hand, eat soil for a different reason. Because they do not have any teeth, Birds eat rough grains of sand and little stones. These help crush their food, which prevents birds from getting a stomach upset and helps digest their food better. Herbivores are animals that only eat plants, like this zebra and wildebeest. They also need to eat soil from time to time. Some of them eat soil to get minerals like iron from it, but others eat soil because it helps cure acidity in their stomach. It's like when you take medicine for heartburn. Now we know why animals like eating soil, don't we, Nozone Rangers? Soil is very important to many types of animals, both in the wild and at home. It helps them stay strong and healthy. We hope that you enjoyed today's episode of The No Zone. Now, we promise that we're going to keep bringing you more of your favorite bits of the show. Remember to join us again next week right here for more learning and fun. Until then, bye. bye.